Great here with episode three of Grey Carbone. Uh, here we are in the base. I've expanded it a little bit. Uh, I've got the glass for some skylights. Uh, we do have window panes in Carbone, so I actually have a view now outside uh, my furnaces. Haven't uh, I, the most that I've done uh, off camera is I did dig out a mine. I actually started off. Let's see if I can actually... Oh, right. Uh, I started off doing a spiral mine, but then I went and I looked up the ore depths for where I needed to find the ores that I was looking for, and I did... <laughs> well, in the first episode, remember that I, I said that the... Uh, the ores, or the, the world can generate a lot deeper. Well, apparently the ore generation is a lot deeper as well. To get some of the ores that I need, I need to go down to uh, a depth of 512 below sea level. Uh, that's twice the height of Minecraft world to get some of the ores that I need to do something. So, yeah. With a spiral mine, it would take me... Uh, basically it's four blocks for every every Y level down because I'm, I, I was digging out the central shaft here so it's three per step plus a, uh, a fourth for this the central pillar uh, I, I didn't feel like burning through 2,000 blocks worth of picks so I switched over to a, a uh, just a, a standard ladder shaft uh, where each Y level is only two blocks. It's still a thousand blocks, but it's not as bad. Anyway, while I was doing that, I noticed uh, I was playing around with the ladder mechanics, and I wanted to share what I discovered. Um, way back in Minecraft Alpha, uh, there was the ability to place ladders every other block and, and to be able to scale them. Uh, now, it looks like I'm not able to do anything, but that's because here in uh, uh, Carbone, um, we actually have to use the jump keys to go up and the crouch keys to go down on ladders. And as you can see, um, ladders every other, every other space does work quite well. So... It's a bit of a difference, but it's it's doable. It's actually kind of nice because when you're when you're laddering, you can actually just start digging out things like this while you're on the ladder and move up and down with those two buttons. Ooh, 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 I want that. And and it gives you a little bit more control. It's just uh, I think it's a little less natural, but once I get used to it, it shouldn't be that bad. So, I went digging down, I found this area here had some coal, and so far I am down to way down here. I think I start up at about positive 30 above sea level, and I got to this level right here, which is about negative 50, and I thought this would be a good level to, to mine to see if I could find any any of the ores that I needed, but then I decided to double check, and that's when I discovered I way way whoops 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 whoa 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 there we go I way overestimated or underestimated how deep I had to go. So down here, I am actually at Y level. Let's find out Y level negative sixty eight. Uh, the first level of ore gener where, where there's a difference in ore generation is uh, negative 64. So I figured I would do one, one we'll probably just fill out this mine up here uh, at negative 50 to see if I can find uh, copper and tin and I think zinc would be up here as well, obviously coal, and uh, work on those ores here. One, two, three, there we go. Then, 
I would drop down to just under that negative 64. And down here, I should be able to find uh, gold and uh, iron in greater concentrations. And I also think uh, uh, mesa cr uh, crystals also spawn down here. Um, I don't know what the ideal mining configuration is. Normally what I do is, is I will dig out a 7x7 uh, a seven seven room um, as kind of like a, a, a central hub and then I'll, I'll branch off from there with 3x3 three three, uh, not shafts but uh, yeah 3x3 three three tunnels and then off of each of those every four blocks I will uh, put out branch mines two high, one wide branch mines to see what I can find. But that's based on Minecraft ore generation, um, base Minecraft as well as modern Minecraft, where the ores are, are generated in clusters that are very, very rarely one, uh, one narrow. So you could go to uh, four, four spaces, in, or well, three in between. So you would have you know, three blocks, if, if, if an ore generates and it's never more than one block wide, if you're on this side of the side of it, you'll see the ore from here. And if you have another single shaft over here, let me dig these out. There we go. Then if the ore generates with these two blocks, once you get to this, this side, you would see it here as well. However, I've been seeing a lot of single ore uh, clumps here in Carbone, so I'm not sure what the ore generation is. I, the, the joy about this is I could probably go into the code and find out if I were really um, desperate to to take a look. But I figured I, 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 I want to, I don't want to know everything right away. I want to explore it a bit and, and see if I can discover it on my own and figure it out from there. So I'm going to do a bit of digging here and also on the uh, the level below and see what I can find and I will come back when I'm ready to proceed with the next step of whatever I'm planning to do next. Oh here it looks like we found something new. Think this is silver, um, which is good. Let's see. Yep, silver lump. I already found silver before uh, when I was digging in the previous episode. I didn't realize it at the time, and uh, so I made myself a sil silver shovel. Problem is, I think I have two different versions of silver enabled between the mods, and one of them is used for tools and the other isn't. And they both use the same icon, so this is going to get really confusing really quick. Um, what I read on the wiki about silver, though, um, it has very limited use. Here we go. Uh, let's go to silver. And yeah, it looks like we have two different silver ores. Um, two different types of silver shovel. And, but, uh, yeah, two different types of silver pickaxe. But apparently what, what, uh, the, the silver pickaxe lasts a really long time compared to stone. So that will be very, very, very good to get, uh, out of this. In fact, I'm probably going to go back up, uh, once I complete this one, two, three, four. I always go up to five. I do everything in, in fives. I find that when you when you stand somewhere, you can dig exactly five blocks in front of you. And then I will do... I did not place those, so... What's, what's in here? Anyway, I will place five torches, and then... I know I've gone 25 blocks. And then normally I do a cross cut here and uh, to get to the rest of the mine shafts. But yeah, I did not place all of this cobble, so... Interesting. Well, I'm going to place some back because I don't like having my passages 
really confusing me. There we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back up and make myself a silver pickaxe and see how much better that is compared to this stone. So I'll be right back. Oh, I forgot to I forgot to show. I actually created a bed, and one thing to look out for: the reason that there's a space right here on the on the left side of the bed is because when I get into the bed and then I hop back out, it puts you one space over. I had actually put this up against the wall the first time, and I ended up inside the wall. Fortunately, I didn't suffocate, but it took me a little bit to realize I had to dig myself out of the hole, uh, out of the wall, and replace the bed. Um, uh, the bed here does advance time, so I don't have to worry so much about night um, when I'm recording stuff. However, it doesn't set home, so what I did do is I typed in the set home command here on this block right in the middle of this room. And then what I can do um, in extreme circumstances, I don't intend to do this all that often, I can always type home and it will bring me back here. Um, about the only time I will do that is if I die and it doesn't bring me back here. Otherwise I'm not going to use that command for um, any purposes like being way down in the mine shaft and wanting to come back up really quick. So we've got tin, iron. I also found another piece of copper, some more iron. I might, might make myself uh, an iron pick as well as a silver pick. So I think the iron pick is needed to dig out the higher ores where the silver pick is equivalent to stone, but it just lasts longer. I think that's how it works. We'll find out. And let's see. I also have another chest over here. This is where I keep all my material. I don't like throwing a lot of stuff away because I'm going to be building out of this. I don't want to have to dig it out of the ground again. So, I do miss uh, this one inventory mod that sorts everything for you. That would be nice to have in, in mind test in general. So, that was seven ingots. There's my silver. So, let's make a silver pickaxe. There we go. Put it, well... Get rid of that one's near dead anyway. And oh, that is much faster. That's going to be a lot nicer. Need to get repair my roof here. There we go. There. Put that wool back. Uh, for the record, I got the wool by right-clicking on sheep. Uh, we don't need shears, apparently, so that's a good thing. And then the bed itself, uh, I guess I'll show how that's made. Uh, I just need some sticks. And the bed, instead of being three planks and three wool, is actually two sticks and three wool. And the, the uh, you can actually make different colored beds. Let's see. By using different uh, color of wool. I just went with the basic white because I didn't feel like getting any any uh, dye to change the color. So, oh, one last thing I wanted to, to show you guys was this. This is uh, called glow glass. This, this glow glass, uh, glow, there we go. Here we go. We can make it with a torch and glass. And I thought, oh, th this will be neat. Um, I wonder if I can, I'll try to make those. Okay, I wondered if it would glow uh, or, or emit light like a torch and then I could have a whole bunch of glass here and have a nice light without having torches everywhere. Unfortunately, the block itself glows, but it doesn't emit any light. Notice how the, the torch lights up there. So, yeah, not a good thing. Um, and the other thing is we we can break glass and retrieve it. Um, it doesn't go away like in Minecraft. At least uh, in this game. It might in other games. 
So with that in mind, I'm going to head back down into the mines. Uh, I need another chest, actually. Darn it. I'm going to head down to the mines and continue mining and see what else I can find. Back in a bit. Ooh, this is new. We're looking at marble right here. Um, I wonder what I could use it for. Marble. Uh, apparently it's decorative. So I'm going to grab all of this and see if we can do something with it. Back in a bit. Oh, ho, ho, ho. what do we have here? I think that's diamond. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Let's check around here. Let's see how big this deposit is. Oof, looks like four so far. Five. Six. Oh, look at this. I'm not exactly sure how rare or useful diamond is, but look at this. Nice. Oh, it goes even further. deep does this go? Wow. Okay, I definitely would not have missed this on a uh, on my normal mining pattern. Look at this. This is huge. Okay, some more light. Does it go higher up? Yes, it does. It goes higher up, too. Oop, one more. I'm not sure what that is. I think that's tin. It's hard to tell, unfortunately. Huh. It'll improve once we get more and more texture packs. Clear this out. How high up does it go? Holy criminy. Fortunately, I... Yeah, I still can't pillar. There, there's the top of it. So it's... Presuming it's a single block, it is one, two, three, four, five tall. By one, two, three, four, five. By five. So we're looking at 125 diamonds? Seriously? And yes, I can I can mine them with uh, iron. Nice. Well, I'm 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 not gonna be too concerned about making tools out of diamond, I guess. Especially since my iron pick just ran out. Ho oh. Does this work? Yes it does. Oh, and it's a lot faster, too. So that was three diamonds that I used on the pick. Let's see how much I get out of the rest of this. Like I said, I think it's about 125. I'm not sure I like that it, it's a perfect block right in the middle. I like how the the uh, coal generates in, in kind of semi-random veins. Not that I'm going to, you know, complain too much about finding 125 diamonds. Who knows how rare that is. I like how fast this is. Okay. So, yeah, 21, 124 diamonds. Not too bad. Huh. Okay, well, I'm going to go back here and update my sign. Where's my sign? There it is. So I have found iron, copper, silver, both kinds of silver, and tin. So 
iron, copper, silver, times two, tin, and diamonds. Woohoo! There we go. Ah, there it gets updated. So the signs here don't you don't actually see the signs. It has a little pop up of, off to the side. So what I'm doing is since I'm not sure where everything spawns, I'm uh, putting signs on each of the levels to say, hey, this is what I found here. Supposedly I can find uh, mesa crystals down here, which I need for my automation. But yeah, I'm going to go back up and get this into the chest. Oh, something else that I should show off. I actually, uh, before I came down here, decided to make dun 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 steel armor out of uh, some of the iron that I had. And that's what it looks like. Dun 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 dun. Of course, now that I've got this many diamonds, I can just go directly to diamond armor, I guess. And that'll be neat. So once I get back up to the top and I get these dropped off, I'm probably going to make a full set of diamond tools and diamond armor and a diamond sword, and I will be right back. Isn't it pretty? Whew, okay. Well, let's grab these and actually make things out of them. Uh, let's see. Let's do a full set of armor first, and I'm actually going to do it the right way this time. Unlike what I did last time with the wood. There we go, and all I need now is the pants. Haha. <laughs> okay, next up is a diamond sword. Put this one away with the rest of my junk. Uh, I want. I'm going to leave the, the shovel and the, the axe alone. Those tools I don't use as much as a pick, so let me put these back. Still have 95 diamonds. Let's put this armor on. Get rid of the last of the wood. There's the press plate. Boots and the... Did I put my diamond sword? Oh. That was silly of me. Here we go. Iron sword. There we go. So now let's take a look at me. Dun dun dun. Ha ha. Nice. What is the armor value of this anyway? Uh, 40. 41. And I think the, the wooden armor was, what, 14? So I, I, I feel a lot safer now uh, exploring that cavern where I met up with whatever that creature was. So I might go back there here pretty soon. Ugh, I need a bigger chest for all this junk. Oh, uh, something else that you probably didn't notice. I have two chests next to each other, but I do not have a double chest. I know there's a mod for a double chest, but uh, I, as part of Carbone, we have basically the equivalent of iron chests here. I can I can make uh, upgraded chests. Um, so once I get more iron, if I had known I would was that close to diamond, I would have uh, <laughs> I would have not spent so much iron on my uh, on armor. So well, live and learn, I guess. Actually, let me make another chest. For old gear. There we go. And we'll plop that down here. Let's steel pants in there, grab all of this stuff. That way, if I ever die, I've always got backups. That's why I never throw this stuff away. And apparently, the weapons have no durability. So, which means I guess I really don't need to, to hold on to this iron sword, but, or stone sword, actually, or the iron sword, but uh, I'm going to do it anyway, and then I'm going to have the armor 
armor does have dur durability and have just multiple sets of backup armor just in case. And three diamonds for my pick. Let me drop off a few of these. And actually what I did is I, I went down to that lower level because I realized I was mining above negative uh, 64, so I probably wasn't going to find anything that I wanted to find. Um, so I'm going to head back down and continue mining, and if I find anything else, I will let you know. Okay, what the heck is that? It's like some kind of green slime. Huh. Well, there's definitely a cavern down here. Let's clear this out real quick. There we go. Let's see if I can get down there. Okay, Spooky McSpookyville much? What is that green stuff? Oh, wait, I didn't want to kill that one. Let's actually see what's over this way real quick. Oof, glad I wasn't standing on that. Oh, just a rat. What? Where's it going? What? Okay. Oh, it must have been under the uh, under the gravel, and when the gravel fell, oh, huh. Wonder what that was. Guess I'll have to uh, do some reading up and see what I can uh, figure out what that. Oh, well, nothing else. I've got a lot of. Uh, Yes! There we go. That's what I was looking for. Let's see if I can get rid of this water. Uh, there. I think that's all of it. Let's find out. Yeah, it seems to be falling. Let's get torches ready. That right there is what I was, what I've been looking for. Wood up rather well. This is a nice big cavern. Not a, not a. Uh, I, I I still haven't seen like a, a really windy, you know, involved ca a cavern system. It's always been a, a, a giant cavern in and of itself. That uh, yeah. See, it's this is pretty self-contained. I always like those those winding, twisting. Anyway, let's get what I was here for. Right there. Wait, no. Ah! Oh, I thought it was a mesa, but it wasn't. It was a one of those coins. Well, that's a bummer. I don't think those have any use because I'm I'm, I'm playing single player. 
I would try to figure out what, what mod that is and remove it, but I think there's a problem where once a mod is installed, if you remove it, you basically just corrupt the world and you can't play it anymore. So, bummer. Hmm. Well, nothing else. I get a lot of uh, exposed ores this way. And coal. I was really hoping that was uh, that was a mesa because we need those for for the machines. Not that I've found zinc at all yet either. Uh, but at least. At least if I could find a mesa, I could uh, get the tubes running and get some automation on the furnace. Because right now, even though I've got four output uh, slots on my furnace, I'm limited to only one on the inside. There's there's no hoppers. Um, but there there are those tubes, so what I could do is I could, I could uh, get an injector plus a tube and then a... Uh, a chest and have the chest uh, be the input chest and then just put everything that I wanted to smelt into that chest and that way I don't have to babysit it to put everything in there one at a time even though you know I, I, I can have up to four things sitting in there uh, let's see oh uh, more water the water under Underwater or underground water springs like this. There's like two or three blocks, and it just really messes you up. See, it's just see another one. Just random source blocks of water. Of course, the the, the flowing is a bit odd. It, it doesn't wash away torches, which um, I've been thankful for a few times. But let's make all of this drop. More up there. Nope. Okay. So, well, I was really hoping to find bases before the end of the episode. However, looks like I'm running up on my time limit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep mining in this uh, cavern here. I'm going to clear this out, and then I don't know. Probably uh, continue to branch mine. Hopefully I'll find some uh, Mesa Crystals, and I'm hoping I'm pronouncing this correctly. And then we'll see if uh, I can at least get some automation up in the next episode. Anyway, until then, have fun.